Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm using a really good microphone to record this, but I've noticed it's like so loud and obnoxious sounding. So if it is, I apologize. Um, so I'm just starting off this Christmas look with uh, Nivea Men's Aftershave. I find that it really, really works well. It makes everything like adhere. It makes my makeup last longer. And here I'm just using a Sigma base for my eyeshadow. If you're gonna do a really involved look like what I'm doing here or what I'm going for, I would suggest a base. Or you can even use concealer like what I'm using underneath my eyes here. You can use it on top of your lids. Everybody's different. You don't have to listen to all the gurus out there and be like, only use this or only use that. It freaking doesn't matter. You don't even have to use anything on your eyes you don't even have to wear makeup if you don't want to it freaking doesn't matter makeup doesn't matter but it's freaking fun and i'm just using that airspun translucent uh powder to uh set the base and only because i'm going for a more involved look so just doing these few extra steps will help the look and make things look a little bit more vibrant and pretty so i'm just tapping it on there but like i say you don't have to if you find just experiment just you know like I am with that palette that I got from Amazon. Um, so I'm just going in with the lightest shade first, just creating like a, um, you know, your, what do they call it? What do the gurus call it? Uh, your transition shade. So you start light and then you go to dark and then it gradually, it adds depth and everything. But honestly, some of the makeup looks I've created are just like one solid color and they look just as pretty. But if you're looking for depth and dimension, you want to kind of do this. But like I say, you don't have to. Do you be yourself? And then here I'm just going darker and darker and just accentuating the outer V as they would call it. Say the outer V with quotation marks around it. Cause I think it sounds weird to say outer V. I don't know why. It kind of bugs me, but that's okay. Hi Goomba. My cat's here. He's fantastic. I know I talk about him all the time. And so I'm just going darker and darker and darker. And you could even go as dark as like adding like a black in this very inner corner if that's what you're looking for. But honestly, I don't like adding black on the outside mainly because it doesn't seem to suit my eye, my two eye shapes. Everything gets a little bit messy and I don't have a lot of lid space. So it kind of gets, I don't know, it's just not worth my time. And that I'm using the Illamas something Illamasqua shade and this is like a very rich like a burgundy wine kind of color and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it it's not my favorite honestly but I guess it'll do <laughs> um I'm just going for like red and green and it seems to have maybe some gold flecks in it it's kind of pretty though but you have to I would suggest if you have something like this apply it using uh, your finger because using a brush it really does not come off nearly as well so your finger just go right into it that's what she said and live your best life and now I'm just buffing it out on the corners there just to kind of soften it out and then I think I'm going to be going back in maybe I didn't show it here but I just kind of like added some I retouched it because it seemed to lose some pigmentation in the corners and now I'm just adding I have this um I don't remember the brand but it was like a liquid eyeshadow that I bought from Rite Aid and I bought three different colors so I was adding I wanted some shimmer so then that wasn't shimmery enough. So then I'm going over it with an even lighter color. Because I'm like, no, that's not the shimmer that I want still. What's happening in this world? What? So that's kind of pretty, but that's still not what I was going for. So as you'll see, I break out the big guns. And I go in, I believe it's my Sultry palette by Anastasia of Be uh, Beverly Hills. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry. Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm using a couple of their shimmer shades. Uh, there's like a bronzy type one, and then there's like a really shimmery one. So I'm just taking all of them, man. I'm going ham, and then I'm taking this that berry color 
just to kind of I think I'm going to be creating like a wing with that it doesn't you can't really see it and I don't like that palette and I was so sad I was so excited when I bought that one the Celestial Storm I think by Kristen Dominique I believe it was majorly disappointed <sighs> excuse me sorry I'm tired <laughs> I've been dealing with a whole bout of like vertigo. Oh yeah, infallible pro glow. It's my favorite. Oh my god. You guys can see it's about a fake tan or anything, so it's about perfect for me. It can shade darker, but the half a shade darker one is too dark for me. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, and no, I'm just, you can do like wipey motions, you can do padding, you know, or like blotting out kind of thing if you like. It doesn't matter. You you can do what you want. Do you. More of that air spun translucent powder and just kind of patting it over my face where I wanted it. Or especially too, if you have like a shiny foundation you want to tone down the shine in certain places go ahead and just put some powder right over it and now I'm using Jessie's Girl uh, green uh, pigment for underneath my eyes and when you're using a pigment like that that's just loose you want to apply like a, a glitter glue or some kind of adhesive base before you do it so oh and now I'm just going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills just kind of when I want my brows to be more perfect I go in with dip brow pomade and when you're just looking for it's just like an everyday thing or just going to the grocery store you don't have to use pomade you don't have to use any of this stuff this is my point I love makeup I love it and I found it and I love it and I'm good at it and it just it makes me happy when I see like palettes I'm like ooh because it's just it's artistic and I'm artistic so I love it but you don't have to do makeup you do you realize how often I'm not wearing makeup just so you know it's really not all the time because it's not necessary you should feel comfortable going out into the world not wearing makeup there's no reason for it just wear a little bit it doesn't matter but the artistic side of me whenever I'm like oh I just want to do like a simple look and then it turns into not a simple look I'm like all right then but it always I always like it though so now I'm just applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I am going to be applying falsies. Yeah, there they are. Jim Meyer. You can find them on Amazon. Crazy good. They're about my favorite ones. They're about on par with the Alice lashes that I get. But those, I think, are really pretty. I mean, they're they're extreme. But, you know, for a look like this, like, Merry freaking Christmas. Do you. Be yourself. Live your best life. Feel the best that you can feel. Do it, girl or guy whatever <laughs> whatever you may be just be happy and now I'm just like either you know oh oh physician's formula bronzer man that stuff smells good and I always thought this was too dark for me but I actually really like the way it comes off I'm still kind of light-handed with bronzers because when I go a little darker it just really I mean maybe I just have to blend even more but because my skin is so light and I do have like a reddish to neutral undertone, I believe. Yeah, go ahead and bronze your earring. Good job. Um, and it's, I don't know, I really like the way that looks. And I'm using Physician's Formula uh, Highlighter. It's kind of like a lighter one than I usually do. But I really like it. Using that fan brush by uh, Laura Lee. It was in her holiday collection. Really nice brushes. Highly, highly recommend it. Oh, look at the chin highlight. Yes! I love it. And then I believe I'm going to be applying some blush there. I think that is Super Orgasm by uh, uh, NARS. And I had the, the one before it was Orgasm. <laughs> and but those are really good blushes I really like the way that comes off most blushes do not come off for me and keep in mind that's like three years old if not longer and I'm just going to be applying a red lip after this and you guys can kind of finish that and see see what it looks like and I hope you guys enjoyed this remember to leave a like down below and I will be having more content very soon and I will see you guys soon god bless bye bye
What is this? Well, what are you? Oh, it's like something crusty. <sighs> Hashtag when you ruin your whole look before you even started your look. Whatever. Huh. Okay, first, first you gotta start with a. Huh. Oh. <gasps> with a pretty thing. Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, the struggle of using earrings when you can't feel your hands. This is one of the worst things. It's so frustrating. I can't, okay. Well, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know where the bara is. It's somewhere over here. Is there a bara in my hair? Oh look, it's over here. You guys want to know I am 14 minutes into filming and I haven't even started because I've been trying to fix my hair this is catastrophic all I want to do is makeup <sighs> Lord. what what excuse me oh lord all right you know mm. <sighs> Why, why can't you turn this way so you can see them? There's a like faux leather. Where is my earring? Oh. There it is. What, the stick going through my ear? Center. It's gonna be fine. This is gonna be pretty. What? foundation am I using? I don't know. Pro Infallible? Uh, in the shade 201 Classic Ivory. That's what I am. I'm a Classic Ivory. For sure. Alright. Oh, look at my eyebrows. <laughs> I like all pointed down. Look, there's the lash glue from yesterday's filming. Do you guys want to know the truth? I seriously would consider doing YouTube for a career. Because since I can't do much, don't do much, and just, you know, how things are. Hashtag MS. Oh my god, that music's loud. I have Zelda music on. And this is what I do, because I would just stand here. What? What? Do you see that? What is that? Oh my god. What is plastered in my hair? It's clean. That's the funny part about this. You know, at... Ain't nobody got time for that. I need to prep my face. What the frick am I doing 